the other day we were at friends of ours and on their boat and they have an aluminum boat and uh, they have not coated the inside of the bilge and they had salt water in the boat they found some corrosion this was kind of worrying me because I found some corrosion uh, before in our boat but due to some uh, issues we had also salt, salt water in the boat immediately uh, I was on a high alert we found, figured out it was time to find out where the corrosion came from uh, we have an insulation hull check system on our boat but we know that this system is not so uh, trustworthy because uh, yeah, sometimes lights, uh, the, we have two LEDs that if you touch the button then uh, the two LEDs light up but the LEDs are yeah, the connection is not so good so sometimes yeah, they don't light up we don't trust the system anymore we knew there was some sort of uh, issue so there are th basically three ways to check whether the, we have a energy leak uh, one is to measure the voltage difference between the hull and the battery plus and the battery minus we can also measure the ohms between the battery plus and the battery minus and the hole and we can also check can light and light a light a light bulb if we for example put the battery plus connected with a hole with a light in between and see if the light lights up and when the light lights up then you have a serious issue so we check the voltages which uh, this is something that's hard to uh, to do or at least it's easy to do but hard to uh, imagine what what's wrong so we don't have a lot of electricity uh, experience the plus was giving us like, uh, like 20 25 volts which is good and the minus was giving us zero volts which we uh, which we found out was not good it should be at least 20 24 volts 25 I guess uh, then we try to uh, measure the ohms but our multi-tool was, uh, was just going into failure so uh, we didn't know uh, how to interpret this but the last check that uh, that we found out that we could do was uh, to use a light bulb so I connected the plus of the battery with the plus of the light bulb and the minus of the light bulb with the hull and then immediately the light started to burn so yeah this was then we knew we had a serious issue so yeah the thing was that how, how are you gonna find out what's causing the issue well when I was uh, when I bought the boat I found out that there were like three battery packs in it this is the uh, this is our overall view of our electronic system so we have like three battery packs uh, one uh, battery pack for the main batteries uh, one battery pack for the navigation batteries and we have one uh, battery pack for the anchor chain and the bow thruster these are on the front of the boat and we have for the generator we have a separate starting uh, battery and we have two engines with both own starting battery but the are the minus of the batteries of the main batteries the navigation batteries uh, our bow thruster batteries and our engines are all connected to the shunt and one of those systems was leaking yeah, I found this really uh, yeah, hard to understand in the beginning but this gave us an opportunity to uh, to isolate the issue quicker than usually because if we knew it was something with a main battery pack then we can focus on that if we knew something was wrong with a navigation battery pack which basically powers the plotter and the AIS and the, yeah like the, all the raymarine instruments so wind depth speed stuff like that or it was something with it had something to do with bow thrust or, or the anchor anchor uh, winch now yeah, this gave us gave us an opportunity to isolate the issue quicker to isolate the issue I switched off all our electronic systems so I switched off the pumps and uh, the toilet pumps the, the winch the chain the bow thrust the stuff like everything and then we still could light the light bulb with 
the connection with the hull and the plus of the batteries which was kind of uh, was kind of weird because um, I in my head I was thinking like if I switch something off then uh, the whole system is switched off the only thing that could be wrong is something yeah it, it has something to do with the shunt or the system before the shunt but what I did not realize was that I never switch off the minus part of the system so if you switch off for example VHF or a fridge you basically switch off the plus of the system and not the minus of the system so the minuses were all still connected and therefore the light could still enlight and light up so to to isolate this, the issue I did the following so uh, I started with uh, disconnecting one of those systems from the shunt. So basically I made this connection, the, the plus of the battery, the minus of the hull, or the hull, and the light. And if the light bulbs up, then there's something severely wrong. I uh, did the first test on one of the main batteries, uh, and this means that if I don't disconnect anything from the shunt, all the minuses are all connected with each other. So. As you can see on this picture, all the minuses are connected with each other if I don't disconnect anything from the shunt. And I measured it on the plus of the main battery and then the light bulbed up. So we knew that there was a, this was the first indication that we had a problem. But this was actually the first correct test. Yeah? So this was a, this was a good test. All those, uh, those uh, areas when we connected the main batteries and we tested the main batteries, we had a good, this was a proper test. So if you can see over here, this one, this one, and this one, and this one, you can see that the constant that we changed, or the vari variable that we changed, was caused connecting the navigation batteries. Then we did uh, another test late in the evening with connecting all the systems and test it on the plus of the main batteries and the light bulb would bulb up again. Yeah, the navigation batteries. And the navigation batteries and the light would bulb, bulb up again. Then I started to realize that we, that this was the first indication that I suddenly understand, understood the system that, and that's the system that all the minuses are connected with each other. And therefore, to measure the navigation batteries, we should connect at least the navigation batteries to the system and be able to test the plus of the navigation batteries or to say if we want to test the system the minus of that system should be connected to the shunt and we should at least test the plus of the system that is connected on the shunt the next thing we did was only connect the navigation batteries and then uh, test it on the plus of the navigation batteries and the light would bulb up again and then we knew that the problem had to do something with the navigation batteries uh, we were kind of happy that we isolated the problem already to the navigation batteries I was uh, I had somehow had the impression that it has something to do with the radar or uh, antenna or whatever something in the mast uh, because yeah those systems are quite old and uh, yeah you can't see them and I had the impression that there was something wrong with that so I uh, removed all the connections from the navigation system so in our uh, navigation station we have several electronic systems so for example this is the plotter that we have and this is the SeaTalk uh, connector uh, here a SeaTalk uh, Raymarine part and this is a screen that that you can see all the settings and uh, this is the how do you say the Raymarine uh, VHF uh, speaker and these are this are the the antenna box the antenna distribution box and so I uh, removed the SeaTalk the radar and the other I don't know uh, cable or we have a 24 volt system we have a converter over here that converts the 24 volts to the to 12 volt for many systems that systems that need the 12 volts. We also have a big main uh, the main minus point over here, <laughs> over here. 
So all the minuses of our systems are connected uh, to this uh, minus port. We expected this one was the, the minus that went to the shunt because it was the thickest cable. So I removed this connection and the light would not bulb up anymore. So then I knew that it was, this was the main uh, minus point. And then I connected all the, the others. And this one, the last one. Uh, and then the light would not bulb up anymore. So I connected these ones again. And uh, yeah, this is all, this are many main points, main uh, zeros together. And the light would not bulb up anymore. And if I connect this one that I now isolated with tape and I connect it to the minus, then the light would bulb up again. And then therefore we knew that was this was uh, the, the problem. So we were quite happy. And then we started all the systems again and we found out that uh, yeah, basically the VHF works. So that was not the problem. The plotter works. Radar works, everything works, except for the button that's called autopilot. This one does not work anymore. And, but this is not only uh, autopilot, it is, has something to do with all the Raymarine indicators, so the depth, the speed, uh, wind speed, everything uh, together is uh, something that is uh, somewhere it's not working. So at least we found uh, the area of the problem. But what the next thing that we should do now is um, follow this, uh, this cable. It probably, I don't know how it works, but it has something like, an, uh, like a um, main... Uh, I think the Raymarine has some main box or something. But we have to find out where the cable goes to and then uh, further isolate the problem. But we were quite happy that we uh, already found uh, the issue and uh, isolated the issue and since